Okay, in this video, we will solve a few more questions from combining of ratios. Uh, let me remind you that we learned in the last video, we learned an, uh, a new technique of combining of ratios. If A is to B is given and B is to C is given, we learned how to find A is to B is to C in by using a trick. Uh, and in the case number two, if A is to B is given, B is to C is given, and C is to D is given, we have also learned how to find A is to B is to C is to D. Now let's test this concept once again, if you have, you know, good grip on this concept. So I ask you this, A is to B equal to 2 is to 3, B is to C equal to let's say 4 is to 5 and c is to d is 2 is to 7 and I'm asking you a very simple question find the value of a is to b is to c is to d so the first step is that what you should do is combine these two which you have understood very well a is to b and b is to c 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 5 so a is to b is to c is equal to pick this number 4 multiply with 2 first step 4 into 2 8 then 4 into 3 12 5 into 3 it's 15 so a is to b is to c is 8 is to 12 is to 15 this is the first step over now copy this step c is to d just copy paste so c is to d is 2 is to 7 now what will you do to find the value of a is to b is to c you will pick this this element 2 multiply this number individually with every element 8 12 and 15 so 2 gets multiplied with 8 it becomes 16 2 gets multiplied with 12 it becomes 24 2 gets multiplied with 35 it becomes 30 then after this 2 2's work is over let's take this 7 and multiply with 15 exactly in the same way what we were doing with a is to b and b is to c exactly in the same way so pick this 7 and multiply with 15 it becomes 105 so 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 105 is the value of a is to b is to c so good luck with the next video and in which we will try to understand one more application of this kind of concepts. See you soon in the next video.